Welcome back to Dining with the Diva with Judy. It's just been so hot. We've had record-breaking heat here uh, that it's it's just been um, horrible to uh, to cook. So uh, today I'm going to be making a, a Sicilian recipe, and I just realized I forgot the principal ingredient. Hold on. It's uh, summer, so we have beautiful eggplants right now. So I got this really big, beautiful eggplant. And uh, mostly in Sicily, I guess you know, they make eggplant parmesan, melanzana and parmigiana. They do six million different recipes with eggplants. They preserve them, where they would peel them, cut them into strips, boil them in vinegar, and then pack in oil. I'm thinking about making some of that. Next week, we're gonna do some preserving. We're gonna have another huge heat wave next week, so I'm gonna to try to make some uh, sun-dried tomatoes. I ran into a Sicilian in, this, in the market yesterday, and he had a huge big bag of a box of tomatoes that he didn't tell his wife about, and he was gonna make some sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm gonna do the same thing uh, next week with uh, the tomatoes. All the tomatoes in August are really beautiful, and they're on sale, and they are, um, they're beautifully ripe and perfect to do all these recipes with. So today, um, I was going to do this eggplant. For those of you that follow me on the uh, Dining with the Diva Facebook page, that have a, a little, kind of, it's called a secret group, but I just, you know, look who's going to be in there. Um, I'll put down several links to the other recipes I have with eggplant on my blog, divinacucina.com. I have lots of eggplant recipes, including a Napolitano dessert with chocolate and eggplant, which is really good. Eggplant is like a sponge. It takes on any flavor you give it. Um, when, you, when you fry it, it's really sweet. I even make an eggplant jam that I really like. This summer, I made a beautiful um, Chinese recipe, which I turned into an eggplant jam. Uh, I love to make uh, Barbara Tropp's eggplant, strange flavored eggplant is what it was called. And it's eggplant sauteed with ginger and garlic and chili pepper, uh, sesame oil and sugar, and vinegar. So to me that's that traditional sweet and sour which then you also find a lot in Sicilian cooking. Um, my first taste of Sicilian cooking in Italy was when I went to uh, the Central Market and there's a, my favorite Sicilian mama there is Benita and she has a beautiful little stand and she would make so many different beautiful Sicilian things. And one of the things she makes is what um, in dialect would be um, melanzani, but they say miluncini or something like that. They have a different word for eggplant. Melanzani abutonati, and I always thought it meant buttons because she would take the, the long, thinner eggplant and cut like I would call buttonholes in them, and then the buttonholes, she would put garlic, mint, and cheese, and then they were fried, and they just melt in your mouth. So when I went to Planeta, when I go there, and I've been going there, what, almost eight, maybe eight years now, I can't even remember. Anyway, um, I asked Angela, because every time you ask someone, you're gonna get a different recipe. So um, he did them once where he, I've had them with the smaller ones where they just cut slices, and then depending on the size of the eggplant, what kind of eggplants, I've also had the round eggplants cut into really big thick slices, and then the garlic, cheese, and mint just put into there and fried, which makes a nice wide piece. But since it's just my husband and I, I thought I'd take this beautiful, large purple eggplant and I'm gonna cut it into quarters. And then I'm going to slice it and in those, I'll show you how you put, you cut slices into the side of the slices and then you stuff them and I'm gonna use again, mint and garlic. And I forgot to get my Sicilian cheese, so I'm just gonna use Parmesan. But the Sicilian cheese is, um, is usually a uh, sheep's milk cheese, a pecorino. And often you'll see one that's kind of more aged with black peppercorns in it, and that's really good too. So let's just do this. And I find it sometimes really nice actually to cut an eggplant with a bread knife. Okay. So I'm gonna take off where the stem end is. Okay. And our eggplants are really nice too. Um, when you do them correctly, like in the season, you won't have a lot of seeds. I just want to show you this up close. Can you see that? You don't get a lot of seeds. Hi, everybody. I just got close enough to see everybody. 
So there's really no seeds in this. So if you do have seeds in them, what you would do is that's when you salt your eggplant. So I'm just gonna cut these into nice big quarters. Here, now you can see just a few seeds here, okay? Not a lot though, so I'm not gonna salt these. But if you were, you could just sprinkle these with sea salt and let them sit for like half an hour. They're gonna give off extra liquid and then, um, then they're ready to rinse them off and they're ready to use, okay? So, these are even kind of big. I bet I can cut these even more. Let me see. Yeah, I'll cut them here, like this. This is a nice, a nice size, okay? A nice size. Oh, Sicilia. Ciao, come stai? Come si chiamano i melanzane abbottonati in siciliano? Miluncini? Non mi ricordo. Normalmente io vado dalla parte di Menfi, ma sono stata anche a Catania. La mia amica qui che l'ha fatto la prima volta viene dalle montagne delle Madonie. Let's see if we can get it answering. Yeah, the older it gets, and the, the, they get more seeds, Beth. So if you, ha you know, if you have questions, you can leave me questions also on the page afterwards. Um, I'll be posting this as usual to um, Facebook. So I'm um, usually she use like a pecorino in America, maybe even like a Monterey Jack, but a sheep's milk cheese is really nice. Oh, child from Napa, yay. But um, I don't have any, so I'm gonna use um, just some Parmesan cheese. Usually you'd want a softer cheese, but Parmesan does melt kind of nicely too. So I'm just gonna cut some, um, the, you wanna cut pieces that are gonna fit into those slices that you're gonna be using. Can you see this? Nice little slices. So I'm gonna pair this with a slice of garlic and then slices of um, garlic, cheese, and mint. Mint, I think, is really surprising that it's used so often in uh, Sicily. And I find it a lot. And vinegar, sugar, mint, so that whole sweet and sour thing is really, really nice. I just sent friends of mine to eat down in um, Porto Paolo at Da Vittorio, and they do a beautiful pesce shabola which is really one of my favorite fish down in Sicily. And it's a, a long, long, long fish that looks like a belt. And they, um, they bone it, fry it, and then they finish it in a sweet and sour sauce. Again, sugar and vinegar. And they said that that like came, ciao Michael, how are you? Um, that that came from the Arabs doing that. Okay, so I have my cheese. I'm just gonna take the mint off the leaves. This is right out of my little garden here. Mint is something I love. Michael Gotuso, does your family do the uh, eggplant abutonati? You cut the slices and then you put in the um, mint and cheese. Do you do that? What have I also seen? In Calabria, I read that they do uh, also make it kind of a little heavier with breadcrumbs. So breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and make it stuffing and do the whole eggplants. Whereas I'm just doing the wedges on these. I'm gonna preheat. My, um, my oil so I can get frying quickly. Uh, I'm using extra virgin olive oil, which uh, in Tuscany, I buy it just a few minutes from my house. Um, if not, what I would suggest is for somebody, if you're gonna be frying a lot, use something like um, uh, sunflower seed oil or corn oil. It's cheaper, but then have that extra virgin in there for flavor, okay? So that's gonna be very light now. Let me get the heat going there, okay? And then you just want nice thin slices of garlic. Whoops, I didn't see that. How do I get that message back? Parmigiana, non parmigiana, si chiama abutonati. Prendono i melanzani interi anche, taglio un pezzettino qui, e va messo formaggio, mento e aglio. La mia amica fa la parmigiana, sono fritti prima, poi con pomodoro e parmigiana. Hi Kate. Okay, so I'm gonna just slice the garlic nice and thin. So then these eggplants are gonna um, be stuffed first and then fried and then finished in a tomato sauce, okay? So this is something too that's really, really good I think even the next day. I don't wanna be distracted here. This is my sharp Japanese knife. 
you'd hate to have an, an accident online, right? Okay, this is a nice fresh garlic, so it's a little bit sticky here. So how was everybody's summer? Crazy hot like here, we had a total drought. It's been insane. We're coming back to having over 100 degree weather again next week, they say. So next week I'm gonna start to make some um, sun-dried tomatoes, Check, use the sun. Okay, so I'm gonna take this eggplant, and just here, I'll get closer here, and just cut like a little a slice, a little pocket, let's say, okay? Like a buttonhole, which is why I thought they were called buttoned. Just cut two of those in there. And if you're using like a Japanese eggplant, you could have done the, the same thing there. So I'm gonna take a, a, a piece of cheese, a little a clove of garlic, sliced thin, mint leaves, okay? And look, I'm just going to put them right in, let me see if I can do this so you can see it, right into this like buttonhole. I'm gonna open it up with my thumb, put the cheese in first, okay? And if it breaks, that's okay. People often like break it to stuff it in. So you want the cheese to really be stuffed in there, okay? And then the, you've got the mint. I've seen that some people uh, do use basil, okay? Oh, everything here is really dry, really dry. And so I've got my mint leaves, okay? And then I'll just do the other side again and put another cheese in first because you really want the cheese to be stuck into the eggplant so it doesn't come out and melt onto your frying pan, okay? Mint. Okay. So just like little, I call them little buttonholes, okay? So I'm just going to do more of these. These I should I cut kind of thin, but I'll just do it on two different sides then. And again, just the same thing. Cheese, garlic, and mint. What's the best size? The, you know, it depends on your recipes. What's the best size for using eggplants? You know, I like the long Japanese ones personally. I just think that they're a nice uh, shape. We get the round violet ones here, and I really love those. I think they're softer and creamier. So it's more to me of a texture thing with the eggplants than it is a size. Um, and using them in season to me is what's really important. I'm just going to put these in hot in the hot oil as I go. Okay, and let them start to fry. Um, what's horrible is using eggplants out of season, and then that's when you get all, all those seeds. And I think the seeds are what makes eggplants bitter and what makes people not like eggplant. Um, eggplant can get really slimy, it can be really greasy, right? Um, putting my cheese in. I turn this down so it doesn't spit on me. So all we've been eating is uh, mozzarella and pomodoro and prosciutto and melon and big salads and just tomatoes with olive oil, ex, you know, extra virgin olive oil and some good vinegar and salt. It's just been too hot to even think about cooking and then eggplants and oh, fruits, fruits, fruits and yogurt. Okay, I'm just going to keep going in the same order so I remember how I put them in. We'll see if they fit nicely here. And then after these get fried, they get tomato sauce on them. Ciao, Holly. New recipe here, something I brought back from Sicily with me. It's something I've made several times, and like I said, um, I sometimes I do wedges, sometimes I do a whole eggplant. And sometimes I do a round disc, especially with those violet ones. Holly, you did a great job on making my cachuco. That was really nice. If you guys ever make anything, um, please post and, and tag me, okay? Holly just made my cachuco, and that was really nice. I'm going to add garlic and more mint. And I think sometimes, too, um... You know, there's a big choice of mint, oregano. What else do people use? Basil. Like when I do my my um, caprese, I really prefer having uh, oregano, the sweet uh, Sicilian oregano, to having basil. Massachusetts. Yeah, it's so hot here. The harvest has started, 
and um, but it started already in August in um, in Sicily because it's been insanely hot, and the harvest started before. But even in Sicily, you used to harvest in August, and one of my um, good friends that harvests down there, she actually harvests uh, at, at nighttime because it's so hot they like the fields. And they harvest at night because it's like 110 degrees out there. That's a little bit too, too hot to be out there working like that. And then, you know, the grape juice kind of starts to ferment. So they have to go really quickly. So uh, up here in Tuscany, they've just started to. I've seen uh, trucks start driving around and people gathering. But, you know, it's just horrible with this heat wave. But we'll see what happens. Uh, apparently, they've had a very low production, the, the lowest production of grapes since the Second World War. So um, now my, we were, my husband and I were wondering, is that going to make the the grape juice more concentrated and higher in alcohol, or um, will there just be not a lot of juice? So I would think that there would be um, both, not very much juice. And I think that it's going to be really high in alcohol because of the fact that there's not that much water in them. So what everybody's afraid of then is that it starts to rain before the harvest and then the grapes would get wet and it would get, at their, get they're gathering at a certain point when, the, when the, um, the sugar level is high enough that the alcohol is the correct uh, percentage that they need to make wine out of. But then all of a sudden, if it starts uh, raining, then it gets all watered. Okay, that fits in there. Let's see if we can get one more. This first side is done. Okay. So I wanted to get nice and brown. Can you see how beautiful that is? Okay. Hi, Tim. How are you? Did you go to the reunion, Tim? My school just had their, their reunion. My high school. So these are turning out very nicely, getting nice and golden. Sucking up oil, you know, eggplant is good at sucking up oil. One thing too about salting the eggplant first is um, it gets really moist. It takes out the extra water and I think it doesn't suck up as much oil, absorb. So I'm mixing oils here, corn oil, sunflower seed oil and olive oil for frying. The mint smells great. Okay, I'm not sure if I can fit these in. Unless I could do it all at once here. So I was saying that I'm using Parmesan cheese, but usually um, you would use a sheep's milk cheese. So at home, even something like a, a Monterey Jack. I wouldn't use a Pecorino Romano. That's um, a little too salty for me. I think that um, a Monterey Jack cow's milk cheese is more similar to a, uh, a light Pecorino. Or if you can get the Sicilian Pecorino with those black peppercorns in it, I've seen that around a lot. That would be really nice. Okay. It's so hot here. I thought it might be a little cooler today, but still the humidity, the heat wave is coming back. It's too bad. It's so hot. That's there. Okay. Yeah, so, so I can see some of my cheese is melting out now. This stuff that was at the edge there. Let's in the same direction. So yeah, if you try to put your cheese on the inside so it doesn't really melt out so much, that's really good. Maybe I can do magic here and get them all in. I have one more piece to get in. That'll be perfect. So again, you see that I'm using mostly extra virgin olives because I have so much of it. Garlic, mint, and cheese. Traditionally, it's a pecorino cheese, which is a sheep's milk cheese. We have a lot of sheep's milk cheek in Sicily. But um, so you cut a slice like this, okay? And then I've got uh, uh, Parmesan, just because that's what I had in the kitchen. And you want to cut a, uh, like a thin slice, okay? So cheese goes in first, and you want to cram that deep into the hole so it doesn't pop out and stays inside. Okay, so I'm really using my my fingernail here, kind of pushing the cheese in. And then you have garlic, which is push, 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 push in, and mint, okay? Just like that. Try on, Dave. Okay, 
I need one more in here. I'm going to crank it back up now that it's getting full. Let's see. I think I can do it, yeah. Okay, let's move the oil. I need a little bit more here. So after these are fried and they're kind of like cooked like that, then they're going to be stewed in a tomato, a simple just tomato sauce. So I have my canned tomatoes ready to go. Let's just double check on these. So see they're getting really soft now and the cheese is starting to ooze out a little bit. Mmm. I kind of do like a baked or fried cheese though. It's really yummy. So instead of, you know, where you would fry the eggplant like eggplant parmesan, which I was told is Sicilian, that the Sicilians call the layered shutters. Uh, Parmigiano would be like those layered shutters on the windows that they have. And not being from Parma, although I know they also make this in, in Naples. Anybody have any questions? Let me get a little closer. Hi, Susan. How are you? Okay. So I'm going to wait. Now, the first ones are nice and golden. I'm just going to wait till those last ones cook up. I think I'll just flip them around a little bit just in case there's a even heating. Oh, that was bad noise. Okay. That last one's going to need to get brown. So for those of you that checked in late, um, you, I did a, a big, long oval eggplant for this and cut it up into like six. I've used the round violet one before and cut them into like steaks, thick slices. And I've also done this with the long Japanese eggplants using the eggplant whole. So it's a very versatile recipe. Hi there, Buenos Aires. All right, how's Tango? And Staten Island checking in, great. So this is, um, it's hot, but it's nice. So my, the first eggplants I put in are nice and golden. And, uh, and getting kind of you know nice and silky and mushy, which is really nice. So I haven't salted anything, okay? I just did the, uh, the seasonings in there. Mint, cheese, and, oh, that's beautiful now. That's brown, see, perfect. Flip this one again. Okay, that needs to get brown. So I really want them to be golden. That one's perfect too. I just love how silky eggplants get. And, and I, we did a lot of, um, this summer we did a lot of like baba ganoush, roasted eggplant. Oh good, eggplant from the garden. So I use my, um, uh, I'll show you. I have a gas stove and I put this, um, this is for my pots, a flame tamer, okay? And, uh, so I have the flame tamer here, and I put this onto my gas, and I actually roast the eggplant on top of the flame, so I get a really nice smoky flavor, and then um, I skin them and puree that, and I make my like, baba ganoush with that. Gives it a nice flavor, or I could just throw them in the oven. Okay, so, yep, that one's golden now. One more. I think they're ready. They're all golden. And so now I'm going to salt them lightly. The mint is so beautiful. I think you guys will really like this. I'm going to salt them. That would bring out any of the water in there too. And then I'm just going to add the tomatoes. You can add tomato sauce. So I'm just going to add the tomatoes uh, right from the can. I like the San Marzano, the tilapia, the Roma. So I'll show you the quality we get here, how they just really break apart. Cut them up. That's because in Italy, these are done only in August with the ripe tomatoes. So you don't ever have those like hard ends on the tomatoes, he's just touching them, breaks them right apart. So now I'm just going to let these like stew, so that the, the tomatoes now are going to take up that essence of the mint and the cheese. Um, I think I'm going to add a little uh, oregano because I love Sicilian oregano. So this is going to have the salt, and this is just to um, really flavor the tomatoes now because they are so tender and then the eggplants are going to pick up that beautiful flavor 
Good. The potatoes are basically already broken up. Really nice. And I do have, um, if you come to, um, to Italy, do go grocery shopping and build up your pantry. The Sicilian uh, oregano or Greek oregano has such an incredible flavor instead of what we get in America. Um, I really, really, really love it and recommend it. It makes the dish really incredible. The other thing to get while you're here, we're just with the ladies for a day class, is the mezzaluna. This is my Italian food processor, and you rock and walk, and you get these like for 10 to 15 euros at uh, the weekly markets or at a grocery store here. What else do I love? I wanted to uh, flip these. Just to make sure they're not sticking. Nope, oh, they're fine. Good. So you're kind of getting the you know eggplant parmesan flavors of the um, eggplant and the tomato, but you don't have to sit there and fry six million slices, right? So that's kind of good. And then I dream about this dish is um, I could also then bake this maybe as it is, or put some mozzarella cheese on top of it. Personally, I don't really like to cook to mozzarella, so to me this is just the right touch of a um, little bit of cheese on the inside of the eggplant, and again, the mint is going to give it a great flavor. The garlic is just steaming in there, which is really nice instead of frying. I'm just going to flip these, and these just take like about 20 minutes, and they'll be ready. So, you know, you can always personalize these like every any good Sicilian would. You know, someone might add basil instead of the mint. I think basically things are whatever you have in your garden uh, or whatever your mom or grandmother did. Okay, these are flipping good. The tomatoes, just breaking up that last little piece right there. But these are so great. Um, I really love them. Let's see if I have anything to say. Manilo Montalbano. <laughs> Louis, hi, how are you? So let me just show you. Let me see if I could do this. See, that was actually kind of close right there. Can you see those now, how, they, how lovely they are cooking? I'll post a picture um, when I'm done, and I'll also post the recipes uh, as a document on the um, on the page. Let me just come back up here a little bit. Okay. I was just looking, and I don't know if you know, but on the Dining with the Diva page, on the left-hand side, uh, there's videos and some documents. So I had lost for a minute my um, my video about the uh, the fiori di zucca, the stuffed zucchini blossoms, and I thought. I've been saving all these Facebook Lives and creating a YouTube channel, and then I couldn't find them. And then um, I also had been doing Periscope for a while, and it wasn't there, because I saved some of those too. And then I realized I was trying the live directly from the Dining with the Diva page. Do you guys see my new glasses? Andrea sat on my old glasses that were my $300 glasses, and these are my four euro glasses, which I really love. There's a new shop here uh, from Copenhagen called Tiger. So I was just had half an hour waiting for clients, so I stopped. There's uh, one of them underneath the train station and one right on the street going to Duomo. And they have fun like little party things and little joke things and notebooks and, and all that kind of fun stuff. And so I decided to uh, just walk through the shop and there were reading glasses for four euro. So I'm there. And then they had a really great collection of uh, spices, too. So I'm going to go back and pick up things I can't get, like a cumin. It's hard to get. Hi, Holly. Andrea's funny friend, Daniele. Yeah, I'll have to get him down the mountain. Um, he lives about two hours from us up on the hill, Daniele Grandusti. I'll tell him he was requested. So this is so beautiful right now. I don't think there's anything better than uh, tomatoes and eggplant. There's a, you know, a, a pasta alla norma in Sicily, are fried eggplant cubes in a tomato sauce, and then salted ricotta grated on top. That's really beautiful. Name, yeah, it's, um, and then eggplant parmesan, which is the layer fried eggplant. It has uh, tomatoes and, and uh, parmesan cheese, not mozzarella. Okay, that's, that's a different thing. And um, 
They bake and stuff eggplant with things. Uh, I have a timbalo on my website, which is really, really I have to demo that for you one day. You uh, do t uh, spaghettini, the angel hair pasta like, in the tomato sauce, light tomato sauce. And then you line a cake pan with it, and then you layer fried eggplant, basil, mozzarella cheese, uh, two or three kinds of cheese, Parmesan cheese, and maybe also a, another cheese. And keep layering, layering, layering it, and you fold the pasta back on top. And what's really beautiful is if you line your pan with sliced eggplant, and then you bake it for like an hour. It's on my website, Timbalo. Uh, and then you turn it upside down to serve it, and you slice wedges, so it's like spaghetti pie, where spaghetti pie came from. And I think these recipes all originally came from, I don't know if you've ever seen it, the, uh, the famous movie that um, Burt Lancaster was in called The Leopard, The Gatho Hard. There was a famous film about the nobility in the 1800s in Sicily, and uh, the big thing was this, this timbalo, which also was in the film The Big Night, a different version of it. It's a very traditional dish for important uh, celebrations, so it's supposed to look like a drum. So it takes like all day to make or three days to make because we actually... So you just want to be able to stick your, your knife into the eggplant um, and have it be all nice and soft. Okay, so this one, just, I'm just feeling it. Oops. I think it just needs a little bit more. And the tomato sauce here is almost... Uh, all the water's cooked out of it, it's almost all gone now, and these tomatoes are getting soft. So let me just do some of this on a plate for you. Just scraping up where the cheese melted, I don't want to lose any of that. Okay. That, that's it. Or my tomato sauce really kind of cooks down, that's what I'm looking for. And I'm going to put this on a plate and show you how pretty this is. So I was saying, you could do this ahead of time, even for a party, and then um, and then even just bake, you know, warm it and bake it. I think would be really nice. Oops, I'm getting messy here. This is my my larger spatula. I usually have a smaller one. I do. They're uneven. Okay, let me just clean this for a second. You never want to have tomato sauce on your borders, right? Mmm, it smells so good. That little touch of oregano in the sauce there, too, that was really, really nice. Okay, look, this is my eggplant. Oh, ciao, Brigida. Brigida, grazie. This is my eggplant abbottonato. Eggplant with mint, garlic, and tomato sauce. And then I just want to get all the rest of this um, lovely tomato sauce. Put it back on here. I don't want to waste any of that. today. Look at that. Ciao. Grazie mille. Sam era contentissimo di sua cena. Look at that. Isn't this beautiful? So I just really think about baking it ahead of time and then maybe adding a little Parmesan cheese on top and serving it. Abbottonate. Si. Brigitte, cosa significa abbottonate? Non significa con i bottoni. Cosa significa? Mi ha detto Angelo, non mi ricordo. Brigitte, piace gli occhiali? Guarda che sono carini. <laughs> Significa con bottoni o qualcos'altro. If you guys ever go to Sicily, um, one of my favorite meals the whole week we go down there is a restaurant in Porto Paolo called Da Vittorio. Oh, ciao, Justin. Look, we're making Sicilian eggplant a bottonati. This would be great in your ovens. Cuse, okay, closed eggplant, not buttoned eggplants. Cosa c'è scritto? And so if you go to um, Da Vittorio to eat, 
tell them Divina Cucina sent you and you'll be like family. They're my little Sicilian family. That's so nice. And so um, that was my Sicilian recipe for the day. Thank you for stopping by. I'll go now and I'll, um, I'll uh, take a picture of it and I'll post it. And then I'll post the recipe for you online. So next week I hope to be doing some um, sun-dried tomatoes because it's going to be hot, hot, hot. And I'll let the sun do the work by just um, putting them in the sun with some salt on a wooden cutting board. A big cutting board, my pasta board. And, um, and then I wanted to make some of the kind of pickled eggplants. I like your glasses. Yeah, I thought you would. You always have the best glasses. Questi costavano 4 euro. Un negozio si chiama Tiger a Firenze. Un negozio di Copenhagen. Sono bellissimi. Um, so do you have any questions? Justin just got married and he's in Venice having a honeymoon. We had a fabulous wedding. Okay. Grazie. Grazie a te. Ciao. So I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go up and work on my computer and drink something cold and put the fan back on because it's still really hot here. Oh yeah, you went there too. Great, Holly, fabulous. See, we have a fan club for Davitorio. I'm so happy. Okay, ciao, see you guys later. See you online.